Hello. Doing the devotional pieces. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I was just telling my daughter to listen for our dogs if they start barking. Hello, everyone. It's March 5th. This is Friday, and I haven't been on here for a couple of days. Thank you for being patient and waiting as we've been going through a trial and in our home. But today we are in Psalm 71. Uh, which is titled the Psalm of Old Age. And um, some of you know that my sister, who is on here with us every day, <laughs> is in the hospital. And so we are praying for her. And when I visited her, uh, let's see, it would have been Wednesday, uh, she and I read through Psalm 71 together since that was our next psalm in here. And it was just so beautiful for her. And I just want to dedicate this devotion to her this morning. Hi, Caitlin. So it's just the truth, all of it. Let's read and then we will pray. Lord, you are my secure shelter. Don't ever let me down. Let your justice be my breakthrough. Bend low to my whispered cry and save me from all of my enemies. You're the only place of protection for me. I keep coming back to hide myself in you. For you are like a mountain cliff fortress where I'm kept safe. Let me escape from these cruel and wicked men and save me from the hands of the evil one. For you are my only hope, Lord. I've hung on to you, trusting in you all of my life. It was you who supported me from the day I was born loving me and helping me through my life's journey. You've made me into a miracle. No wonder I trust you and praise you forever. Many marvel at my success, but I know it's all because of you, my mighty protector. I'm overflowing with your praise for all you've done and your splendor thrills me all day long. Now that I'm old, don't let set me aside <laughs> just love this these scriptures now that i'm old don't set me aside wait till we get to the gray hair part which you can see <laughs> um don't let go of me when my strength is spent for all my enemies whisper behind my back they're waiting for me to fall so they can finish me off They've convinced, they're convinced you've left me and that you'll never come to my rescue. They're saying, Let get, let's get him now. He has no savior. Oh God, stay close to me. Don't just watch from a distance. Hurry to help me, my God. Cover these accusers of mine with shame and failure. Destroy them all for they only want to kill me. No matter what, I will trust in you to help me, no matter what. Nothing will stop me from praising you to magnify your glory. I could not begin to count the times you've been there for me. With the skill of a poet, I'll never run out of things to say. Of how you faithfully kept me from danger. I will come forth in your mighty strength, O oh my Lord God. I'll tell everyone that you alone are the perfect one. I'll come forth in your mighty strength. Such wonderful promises here. I'll tell everyone that you alone are the perfect one. From my childhood, you've been my teacher. <clears throat> and I'm still telling everyone of your miracle wonders. God, now that I am old and gray, don't walk away. Give me grace to demonstrate to the next generation all your mighty miracles and your excitement 
to show them your magnificent power for your glorious righteousness reaches up to the high heavens and no one could ever be compared to you. Who is your equal, O God of marvels and wonders? O God of marvels and wonders. Oh, hi, Michelle. Good morning. Even though you've let us sink down with trials and troubles, I know you will revive us again. Lifting us up from the dust of death. Give us even more greatness than before and turn and comfort us once again. My loving God, the harp in my heart will praise you. The harp in my heart will praise you. Isn't that beautiful? Your faithful heart towards us will be the theme of my song. Melodies and music will rise to you. The Holy One of Israel. I will shout and sing your praises for all you are to me. Savior, lover of my soul, I'll never stop telling others how perfect you are. While all those who seek my harm slink away ashamed and defeated. Isn't that beautiful? So Psalm 71, the Psalm of Old Age. Verse 16, um, in the footnotes, it says, I will come forth in your mighty strength, O my Lord. And in the footnotes, it says, I will enter into the manliness of Lord Jehovah. <laughs> Isn't this just the phrasing is out of this world. I will enter into the manliness of, of Lord Jehovah. And then I uh, just want to say that the Septuagint, oh, that's for Psalm 72. We won't read that footnote. There was only one footnote for Psalm 71. How are you guys? Caitlin, how is it going with your um, diet changes? <laughs> are you enjoying plant-based eating? Um, I have cut up potatoes in the oven that I usually prepare some sort of hot carb in the morning so that we have something to add into our meals and anyway i hope it's going well and michelle you're a free state i hear so much good coming out of texas you know it's really uh, amazing to think about texas if you think about it that you were under such fire trial a few weeks ago with the storm and then you parade in front of the other 50 united states the freedom that should be in every state so it's so good it's more effort but you like it oh good yes it is a lot of effort and it is um it becomes easier i'll just say that you become acquainted with things that you like and those become your go-to's <laughs> and then you try extra fun things along the way still have to wear a mask at work yes oh, okay ah oh. positive directions that's what we want well, if you all will join me, we are going to pray through 71 of the Psalms here. And um, if I mention my sister, it's because I'm also going to be interceding for her, as I believe so much of these are promises for her right now. And um, so, Lord, we thank you that you are our secure shelter, that you will never let us down. We do pray for breakthrough this morning that the justice of God would break through in all areas. We think of the release of the children in Tennessee this week, the 150 captured children. We thank you for the justice that will roll down. 
Lord, we just speak justice over our nation, justice over our own situations. We ask that you would come down low and bend towards us as we cry out to you to save us from our enemies. You truly are the one and only place of protection for us. And we truly come to hide ourselves in you and under the shelter of your wings, Lord. I have to take a call just a moment. Let me put this on mute. Hello? I'm on live on the video um, right now. I'll call you. I'll call you right back. Maybe you can join us. Okay. I'll call you back. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was Gail. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. She was saying, please tell everyone hello and tell them that I'm being released. So yay. I guess after this, I'm going to go pick her up. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Bend low and hear our whispered cries and save us from our enemies. You're the only place of protection for us. We keep coming back to hide ourselves in you. For you are like a mountain cliff fortress where we are kept safe. So Lord, we pray that you would cause us to be able to escape from all cruelty and all wickedness. Lord, yes, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You are our only hope. We have hung on to you, trusting in you all of our life. And it is you who supported us from the day that we were born. From the day of our conception, Lord, you have supported us and held on to us, nurtured us, brought us into the place that you have for us, Lord. You are loving us. You are helping us through life's journey. Today, we just pause and thank you, Lord, that you are helping us. We declare that you are helping us through life's journey. You are here loving us. And for my sister, we declare that you are making her into a miracle. We thank you for Gail's miracle right now. We thank you, Lord, that what the enemy intended for harm you will not allow to cut off even one day of her life. We praise you and we thank you and we honor you with all of our hearts, Lord. We trust in you and praise you forever. We marvel at the successes that you bring us to. It is because you are our mighty protector. We overflow with praise for what you've done. We thank you, Jesus, and we overflow with praise for what you have done. Marvelous, mighty protector. Your splendor is thrilling us all day long. Your splendor thrills us all day long, all night long, you are with us. And now that we are becoming older, and some of us are officially old, <laughs> We ask, Lord, that you wouldn't set us aside, but that you find areas to complete your purposes through us, speaking through us as fathers and mothers. Thank you, Lord, that uh, you have a place for all those who are beginning to see gray in their hair. We trust you, God. We trust you. Thank you for our assignments. And we ask, Lord, that when we do not feel strong, when our strength is spent, that you would not let go of us, but that you would hold on to us. We thank you that when the enemy is whispering in our ear, that you've left us or that you are not going to pick us up or that you won't come to our rescue. He's always got the same lie. We ask God that you would stay close to us, that your presence would so permeate 
where we are at that the very lies would be cut off midstream and that they would have no potency and no power. We ask that you would come close to us and not be distant and that you would hurry and help us, God. Cover the accusers in shame and failure. We ask, Lord, that you would destroy them all. Lord, just one moment, please. Let me just answer her. This is not a Zoom call. Okay, so we thank you, Lord, that you have, no matter what, shown us that we can trust in you and that you will help us. We thank you that nothing will stop us from praising you. Nothing. You have been there for us so many times, we cannot begin to count the number of times you have been with us. And so with the skill of poetry, we thank you for the gift of poetry that is in all of us and my sister too, who loves to write poetry. We thank you for that gift, Lord. So with the skill of a poet, as Caitlin writes her screenplays, every place that you give us a pen to write, Lord. We thank you, God, that we will never run out of things to say of how you have faithfully kept us from danger. We will come forth in your mighty strength. We will come into the manliness of Lord Jehovah. We thank you, Jesus, that we can tell everyone, everywhere, that you are alone, the perfect one. And that from our childhood, Lord, you have been our teacher. You have been teaching us your ways since we were young. We are telling and we are going to tell everyone of your miracles and your wonders. And we thank you, Lord, that as we are older, some old, some gray, we thank you, Lord, that you will not walk away, that you will give us the grace to demonstrate to the next generation who you are. We will tell them of your mighty miracles and we will excitedly show them your magnificent power, Lord. Thank you for the grace to do this. We thank you for your glorious righteousness that reaches up high to the heavens. We thank you, Lord, that no one can ever be compared to you. Truly, Lord, who is your equal? There's no one like you. You are the God of marvels and wonders. You've let us sink down with trials and troubles. And yet, Lord, you will revive us again. We believe that you will come in to our trial and revive us. Revive us today, Lord. Come in. Lift us up from the dust of death. Lift us up where a spirit of death tried to get their big toe into our family. We ask God that you revive our hearts, revive our minds, revive our souls, revive our spirits right now. In Jesus' name. Giving us, giving my sister more greatness than before. Giving her better health. Giving us all turnarounds in our health. Glorify and magnify yourself in this. Turn and comfort us again. And with the harp of our heart, we will praise you. Loving God, we praise you with the harps that are in our hearts. And we make melodies and music. Our, our faithfulness towards you will be the theme of our songs. Your faithfulness towards us will be the theme of our songs. Your 
faithfulness will cause us to rise up with melodies and music and we will shout and we will sing praise for you all you are to us Lord. you are the lover of our soul we will never stop telling others that you are perfect and that you are good while all others may come and try to seek our harm they will be defeated they will be put to shame so lord we magnify and praise you today and in our older age lord we will tell of the marvelous works of our lord the faithfulness of our god and the miracles that you have done in and through us you will give us the grace to tell the next generation and you will give the ears of the next generation the ability to hear us and the, the ability to be in relationship with you, trusting you as well. We cover our children, we cover our grandchildren, that they will receive a parent's blessing today, a grandparent's blessing, spirit of belief, driving out a spirit of unbelief and a spirit of fainting. Give them the grace to come into intimacy with you from a young age, from babies on forward. Protect them, protect their minds, protect our minds, Lord. Come in with a garrison in our mind. Have your way, Lord. We trust you today. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm sorry I was distracted there with that phone call, but I'm thankful that we could find out today together that she will be able to come home. And thank you for coming on with me today and for being patient these last couple of days. Patient and prayerful. <laughs> I love you guys. Is there anyone that wants to say anything before we hang up? <laughs> God bless you, Caitlin. God bless you, Michelle, and everyone else that comes on here later. We love you. Leave a comment if you want, and I will try to be on here again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.